I literally remember seeing the trailer for this movie in the movie theaters and be like, that looks like a good movie. And then last week, I like saw a red car premiere and I was like, oh yeah, isn't that supposed to come out this weekend? And it did not. It had like a very, very limited release in a movie theater. So here I am at 3 a.m. in the morning just watching on Apple TV. Wolf's stars George Clooney and Brad Pitt, and is about two rival fixers cross paths when they're both called in to help cover up a prominent New York official's misstep. From writer and director John Watts, the man that brought you the recent Spider-Man trilogy, comes the brand new film, Wolf's. So like I said, the trailer impressed me. I was like, that looks like a good movie. I can't remember the last time George Clooney and Brad Pitt worked together because that alone, their duo is iconic because of the Oceans trilogy. And I'm pretty sure that was the last time they worked with each other. So for this movie, I was excited to see what John Watts could do besides Spider-Man. Now I have seen Cop Car one time, but I haven't seen it in a long time. So for this movie, I'm really impressed to say that John Watts, you did a really good job with the Spider-Man trilogy, but I would like to see you do more because... This was a pretty solid movie, honestly. Now, I'm not going to tell you this is a must-watch movie, but if you're a fan of Brad Pitt or George Clooney, you should probably watch this because they carry this movie. I mean, watching this movie tonight, it was a good movie, but I really, really will sit here and tell you that those two actors elevate this movie, truly. Their chemistry and their bickering made the movie worth watching. And the movie shot very well. I love the look of this movie. The coloring, the lights, the night sky, the snowy atmosphere with the New York vibes. I mean, it truly gave you like a good atmosphere and a good like crime thriller, but the movie tries to be comedic at a good bit of the time. And at the end of the day, like... It's fine, honestly. Like, I wish I got to see this in a movie theater, but honestly, watching on Apple TV on a 4K big 62 inch TV for me, it was fine, honestly. Like, again, this movie's solid. It's got a good enough story to keep you intrigued, but there is many parts toward the end where it gets really serious and dramatic, like in the very last 10 minutes. And I don't think any buildup with the chemistry between these two guys and this one dude that is supposed to be dead in the movie. He's not dead. He's a young guy. But the thing is, they try to build a relationship with these three together that leads to an ending that could be more dramatic and thrilling. And I didn't think it really worked that well, in my opinion. I was like, I didn't really feel anything. And the movie's trying really hard. But again, I mean, it's really well directed. It's pretty well written. I wish the story had more twists and turns and more stuff happening to keep me really intrigued because without these two main actors, I mean, this would have been a very, very forgettable little thriller, you could say. But in the end, it's a fine little movie. I'm going to give Wolf's a B-. minus. So, are you going to watch Wolf's on Apple TV this weekend? And if you do, what did you think about it? Did you think it was great or did you think it was okay? Like, honestly, I'll probably forget this movie by Monday, honestly. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoy this movie review. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.